Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, we are going to be doing a gun running DLC trailer battle. So since Rockstar has originally talked about gun running, which was a tiny paragraph in a Newswire article about two months ago, we haven't gotten any information since. They haven't released, at least when I'm making this video, any new screenshots, any new trailers, anything like that. And since then, there's been two pretty popular fan-made trailers that have gone semi-viral. I think one has a couple hundred thousand views, one is approaching a hundred thousand views, so really good numbers right there. And what we're gonna be doing today is comparing them and seeing which one we would prefer, which one we think is the best. So in the comments section of this video, I'm gonna have two comments from myself. One of them will be like trailer number one, the other one will be trailer number two. What you need to do is go down in the comment section and thumbs up the one that you think is better. And I'm going to check back in, in every couple hours or so and see which one has the most thumbs up rating. So here's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be checking out the trailers first. And then I'm going to be going over some of the details and features that they say their update would include. And then at the very end, we'll be comparing them and determining which one is the best. So the first trailer comes from my good friend Juppet Gaming. Now, I have briefly talked about this trailer, but I haven't gone into it in a whole lot of detail. And before we look at it, friendly reminder that these are once again fan-made trailers. They're nothing official from Rockstar, but let's jump into it and let's get it started. So wow, that was pretty impressive. This first trailer really starts us out with getting us hyped with a lot of the military content that we already have in the game. Uh, the first brand new vehicle we see is when they arrive in Fort Zancudo. You can see this new style Humvee, which I would actually love if Rockstar added a vehicle like this, like a Patriot Retro Custom. That could be incredibly cool. Uh, and it's basically just a, like a massive action montage, which I think is awesome. Now, the first thing that this trailer says we'd be able to do is custom Customize our Pegasus vehicles and you can kind of see this tank go from red to green to pink to brown we can see a cargo bob that is a different color we can see a savage that is a different color too uh, a different colored buzzard a hydra that has like this pink digital camo on there that is pretty awesome so that's the sort of Pegasus customization I'm talking about I don't want Rockstar to like reinvent the wheel here and give us new upgrades for like the tank but be able to like change the color or add like a livery or something Something like that. I think that could actually be pretty cool. So that was one of the coolest features of this first one. The next one is take on military missions. I would imagine that would be very, very similar to, you know, sort of the stuff we're probably going to be getting, like the gun running style CEO or biker missions, whatever it's going to be, or whether we're part of our own militia. And that's a pretty cool APC tank as well that you saw running right by there. Another cool feature is that the jets actually have flares in this. So they'll be able to survive something like a homing missile or a rocket that hits it. Now I can see that being a little bit overpowered. Not too sure how Rockstar would balance that, but I still think that's pretty cool. We also see a submarine. That would be epic as well to have like crazy underwater military vehicles. That could be pretty awesome in my opinion. He also references acquiring high-powered weaponry, including the railgun and the hidden weapon of the XM25, the programmable AR. However, probably the biggest thing that would come with this update is two new heist missions, which is shown off in that really final cutscene right there where they're dragging the military people out of the barracks and then they're stealing an EMP. 
that's pretty cool. I think the heist missions are awesome. I just don't know if Rockstar is going to go through the trouble to doing them again because that requires a lot of motion capture and scripting. And it seems as if, based off of a couple interviews, Rockstar are done with the heist missions. They're not going to be doing them. And I honestly, I think the gun running missions are going to kind of be like mini heist missions. So I think they're going to be pretty cool just with a military vibe. And that is trailer number one right there created by Juppet. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section down below. I think that is a pretty epic trailer and it highlights a lot of cool things that I would think would be amazing for the gun running update. So now that you've seen trailer number one, let's take a look at trailer number two. This is created by XXII. Now whether you love him or you hate him, you can't deny that he has some pretty amazing cinematography, which is makes for some really cool trailers. So let's go ahead and take a look at his right now. So in my opinion, this trailer is a little bit more action packed, but it jumps around a lot too. So you might miss a couple things here. We can also see a bunch of brand new vehicles, including jets. We can also see more types of armored personnel. So this trailer has a ton of more unique vehicles than the first one. However, I also believe it's a little bit more generic as the text that appears on the screen is exactly what Rockstar has written on the Newswire, which doesn't mean to say that that's incorrect, but there's also some pretty cool things as well, like having your own personal aircraft carrier. I actually think that would be amazing. The aircraft carrier is used in like the power play adversary mode and then a heist mission, and that's about it. And I really do think with this gun running update, there could be a whole lot more use for that, so that could be pretty cool. He talks about stocking up and bunkering down creating these massive like weapon armories and bunkers. That sounds incredibly cool. And then he talks about wage war with the latest and high powered military hardware, where we get to see a bunch of the new vehicles that he's created, including some uh, amphibious ones, which I think is pretty unique, heavily armored ones, like all sorts of, you know, brute stockades with mini guns on the top of it. Uh, it looks like watercraft insurgents. I mean, this is one of the most action packed, intense trailers. And then of course they end it with exciting new missions and his theme is supremacy in the illegal arms trade gun running so those are the two trailers right there and that second one once again created by xxii i want to talk about now which one i think i like the best I think that uh, there's elements of both trailers that I enjoy there. I really like the action that we got out of trailer number two. I like the idea of owning the aircraft carrier and the way that he presented the bunkers with like the weapons on the wall and everything like that. I actually think that looks incredibly awesome. And I like the idea of some of the vehicles, but I also think that others look a little bit wacky and out of place. And some of them even use assets from older GTA games like Grand Theft Auto 4 and The Ballad of Gay Tony. But overall, it was a nice action-packed trailer. And then if we jump back to the first one, I think the two big selling points for me here was the personalization of Pegasus vehicles. That is something that players have wanted for a long, long time. I believe it would also include the ability to store them or manage them a little bit better, kind of like what we have with the gun locker right now with our CEO office and our biker club. And then the two heist missions at the end, even though I know for a fact there's like no way we get that. I think military themed heist 
heist missions would be really fun because there isn't one in the standard heist. We have a prison break one. We've got the, you know, Humane Labs raid one. We've got the Pacific Standard Bank one. Uh, but we really don't have a military themed one. Nothing that involves like militia personnel or Fort Zancudo, which to me is a little unfortunate. So that is why I am going to give the slightest of edges to trailer number one here and which one I believe is the best and which one I would like to see most represent the actual Grand Theft Auto gun running DLC. But anyways, those are the two trailers right there. And once again, I would love to hear from you in the comments section down below. Which of these trailers did you like the best? Was it Juppet's trailer number one? Was it XXII's trailer number two? And also explain why you thought it was the best too. As I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna be checking in every couple hours to see which one has the most thumbs up. And if you wanna see the trailers in their entirety or without me talking, uh, I'll leave links to both of them in the description. They're both very talented creators and you guys should definitely give them a follow, subscribe to their channels too. They do really cool stuff over there. So let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comment section down below. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.